Yeah, we can go ahead. Hey, uh, Keith, what are we doing mic wise? Are we still are we still hot here? And this, we're live here. Um, go ahead. And uh, Lucy, you can just hand a mic to someone and then who, just raise your hand, folks, for whoever wants it next over here. We're, Mike on the left. Rob, grab it from the uh, our, our student right there. And then anyone else who has a mic over here. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Dylan. Just hit, yeah, go ahead. How good was it today just to get that passing game going? Obviously, um, you weren't targeted a whole lot in week one just to get in, in the flow of the game and, and be a big part of the offense. Well, yeah, first and foremost, it was just great to be back in the shoe. Um, I think we we had a lot of energy coming back here um, and just playing in front of the, the fans. We love we love playing here, obviously, at home. Um, but, yeah, it felt good to, to, to get rocking and, and to get, you know, the ball, the ball in the air. But at the end of the day, however we get the dub, we're going to be happy. Affect your rhythm at all when you have quarterbacks coming in and out of the game, two different quarterbacks. Does that affect you as a receiver at all? Is it just kind of like you know you do what you do and you know? Yeah, I, I won't say that's necessarily our job. Our job's to run the right route, get open, make plays after the catch. So um, you know, if the ball doesn't happen to be in the right spot, then you know we we don't try to discredit anything the quarterbacks do. We just try to work our own game, um, and whoever is in there, we expect them to get the job done. Oh, uh, Rob, you got a question for Mecca over here? Yeah, just um, what did you see this week compared to last week? I mean, was it just – were you just more comfortable? The offense was just really kind of clicking a little more from your perspective. Um, we have to watch the film to know for sure. But I felt like we played harder, um, and I felt like we executed better than we did last week. Last week I didn't feel like the offense was was really hitting on any any cylinders. And um, this week we still have a lot, a lot to go, a long way to go. Um, but I feel like we're, we're definitely taking steps in the right direction. Um, but as Ohio State, 35 points is, is good, but, you know, our ceiling is way higher than that. So we got to get on the film, like I said. Um, we've got to check out where we could execute it better. Um, and like Coach Day was talking about with the, um, the new changes in college football, with the clock and everything like that, you're very limited on the amount of drives and the amount of plays that you have. So we got to really focus on staying on track, you know, getting rid of some of those holding penalties and, and whatnot to be able to execute the way that we want to. You, Ryan brought up repeatedly how different the game feels with the new clock rules. And I'm wondering how different you feel after a game as a player. Fresher, better? Do, are, is there a difference late in the game? Can you tell? Yeah, I mean, two games into the season, um, I, there's definitely that impact of, you know, the, the halves are flying by, especially in the second half in this game. I didn't even feel like there was a second half. Um, but as, as in terms of my body, um, I guess I'll, I'll be able to tell with time. Um, week two, I always feel pretty fresh. Um, and then, you know, the, the nicks and, and the bruises, they pile on. But uh, we'll be able to see how I feel coming out, um, you know, week three, week four, and, and later on down the road. Did you increase the need to be a quick strike offense being, the, I mean, obviously, I guess you guys have to score more quickly with the clock going more quickly. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel an increased pressure? Um, I want to say an increased pressure. We're always we're always called to execute. That's what we're we're here to do at Ohio State. But um, an emphasis this week was was execution and effort. Um, and we also had a big emphasis on on tempo um, and and getting plays out there quickly because we know the rules with the clock now. But um, that's part of the reason why we took the ball. We felt like we wanted to get off to a hot a hot start. Um, and you know that's one of my favorite things when we take the ball when we win the toss because you know I want to get out there on the field, score, give our defense a little a little um, juice to rally behind. Over here to the right. We're going to just go a couple more with Emeka here. Brendan Gulick, Buckeyes now on fans only. Emeka, hey, um, are, are you guys playing as fast as you want to play? Do you want to play faster? Is that a part of the game that has a you know a, a big focal point for you? Faster in terms of what, like tempo, passing and tempo stuff? as a team, not necessarily oh, like whether you're passing or running, but you know fewer time between plays. Are you trying to go? at a quicker tempo, or are you guys comfortable where you're at? Um, it comes with game planning. Every team is different. Every defense is different that you played. Um, but I think we wanted to go tempo this this week because we liked our matchups. Um, and, you know, most of our, our tempo plays, you know, we, we know by heart, and we're going to be able to execute at a, at a high level um, and kind of just get plays out there, like Coach Day was saying, instead of just letting that clock roll and roll and roll. We want to get as many plays as we can because we have such dangerous players. Once you get the ball in their hands, uh, really anything can happen. So, um you know, it goes week to week, but at the same time, like there is a sense of urgency that we now have to have. Over here to the left, then Spencer Holbrook, Letterman Row. I hope it, I hope this makes sense. Last year, you guys had a lot of the CJ throws that were just like, oh my gosh, how did he make that throw? You right. come down with it. 
last week it didn't seem like they were there, but there were completions. Did you feel that there were a couple more like of those like CJ throws today from Kyle? It seemed like he was much more comfortable when in command. Yeah. Um, I would say that we expect that from whoever is in the pocket. Uh, we're at Ohio State, one of the, you know, we're going to compete for a national championship every year. So quarterback play has to be high. Um, and those, the guys in, in our QB room wouldn't be here if they weren't elite level talents like CJ. So um, I believe the sky's the limit for both of them. Anybody who, who, who plays quarterback here at Ohio State, that's really the expectation. Um, and if they aren't there, then they're going to be elevated to uh, the competition surrounding them. I mean, Devin and Kyle, they're kind of going at it from spring into fall camp. Um, and I saw the levels of both of their games rise exponentially just because they were forced to that next level by the other guys. So um, I feel like, you know, both of them are going to come along. Um, and I feel like they are coming along nicely. Um, a lot of people were mad at CJ after Minnesota, kind of the same thing last week. Um, but, you know, we're going to get into a rhythm and you guys are going to see just how special they are. Great. Emeka, thank you very much. Thank you for your time.